there are 152 million orphans in the world. There are 37 million that are homeless on the street. If the child can learn about human rights and start to act on their own, then they're gonna be better in life. I heard about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that was written by the United Nations and by Eleanor Roosevelt. We stand today at the threshold of a great event, both in the life of the United Nations and in the life of mankind. This Universal Declaration of Human Rights may well become the international Magna Carta of all men everywhere. In 2011, I volunteered to go around the world with Dr. Mary Shuttleworth with Youth for Human Rights, shoot documentary stills and video. She puts human rights education into the hands of children all over the world. I saw a lot of the world that way, things I hadn't anticipated, things that were quite eye-opening for me. And in the process, I also met a number of orphans. And the orphans that I met were beautiful children that were happy and excited and often impoverished and starving and, and uh, with diseases and all sorts of things, all the things you think about. The thing that struck me the most was that they were happy and excited and having a good time. So I really fell in love with the orphans of the world and wanted to help them. What Dr. Shuttleworth did was she got permission from the UN to rewrite the UDHR into eighth grade level, which they have now embraced and they are fully behind. So she takes the eighth grade level Universal Declaration of Human Rights and puts that into school systems. So what I want to do is I want to take that same document that's designed for children and put it into orphanages. The Buddhists say, give a man a fish and he eats for a day, and teach a man a fish and he eats for a lifetime. I thought if the child can learn about human rights and start to act on their own, then they're going to be better off and able to help themselves get better in life. When I see these kids, I first of all see regular, normal kids. When I was in Liberia, I met a boy who was about 14. The woman that ran the orphanage said that he wanted to read at night. Their electricity comes from a tiny generator that they run for about an hour each night and then they go to bed and they go to sleep because there's no lights. So he wanted to read. So what he did was he made a light bulb. He got a bulb and he got a socket and some wire and one of those plastic containers for batteries and he filled it up, the light bulb comes on and he's able to read at night. Now, what if that kid had an iPad? What if he had the internet? What could he get done with that kind of ingenuity? He doesn't even have any education. He just has the impetus. He has the idea. So I would want to foster the ideas and give them the idea that they have human rights and give them the idea that they can get better. Music's a big part of what I do. I love music. I love how it makes people feel. It's amazing to me. So why not use music somehow to help the world? The Orphans in the Storm project goes like this. I go around the world and I film orphans that sing and dance. I make an album of all the songs and then I make a documentary about the trip and about the album. And I sell the album and I sell the film and raise money to put the human rights books back into the hands of the orphans. When music happens, people listen. When children sing, people listen. When orphan children sing, people listen. That's the avalanche that I want to start. That it gets enough attention going on that it grows and grows. There have been a number of people that have helped me up to this point that I'm very grateful for. Actress Doris Roberts was one of them. She's come to a number of events. She's spoken out for me, and I will always remember all the help she's ever given. Jack Betts, he's a singer and an actor and a director and a playwright. And he's helped me with full support as much as he could every step of the way. The biggest supporter of them all is my mentor, Dr. Mary Shuttleworth. She provided me with the insight and the awareness that I now have on this subject. I never would have had that had I not gone with her on these trips, and I'll never forget that. Well, I, I don't think I missed it.